There are the traditional views of Afghanistan, and then there's this. Last week, the two worlds collided at the third annual Sound Central Arts and Music Festival, where over 50 international and Afghan artists came together to perform, paint, skate and play to an audience of young Afghan men and women. Hip-hop artists like Paradise from Herat and indie rock band Kabul Dreams were among those representing Afghanistan's best young music makers while international acts from Australia, Poland, the United States and Uzbekistan also revved up the enthusiastic crowd. Outside, the Parwa's puppet theatre entertained onlookers while artists painted and break dancers and skaters showed off in the sun. <laughs> So it's actually a positive thing, I mean, for youth. In Afghanistan, as uh, we don't have much entertainment. During the Taliban regime, most forms of art, music and culture were banned which makes the very fact this festival is happening significant. But the organizers say they've got their eye on bigger and better things. I also want to take it outside of Kabul to other parts of the country, to capitals like Mazar Sharif, Herat, Jalalabad, Kandahar, so that the rest of Afghanistan can uh, experience what we experience here in Kabul. Shirtless guitarists and headbanging fans are certainly not what people might expect from Afghanistan. The bassist from this metal band says while not everyone supports their music, their fans keep them going. Of course, people who are conservative and are uh, opposing the new type of music and art, and we have been dealing with so many uh, hard days through our music career over the past few years, and, uh, but still there are people who like our music and they are supporting us. Afghan-American songstress Ariana Delawari and Uzbek funk band Tears of the Sun travelled from Los Angeles and Tashkent respectively to attend the festival for the second time. They say the growing Afghan alternative arts movement is quickly becoming the most exciting music scene in the region. It's the most growing rock and roll out dance in Central Asia and we want to be part of this. And these kids are they are coming from a place of having not been able to express themselves for a long time and then and now having the freedom and it's like it's exciting and it's it's they're kind of creating their own genres the festival also had a women's only day where the audience and performers were strictly female only we thought a women's day would be necessary just because women in Afghanistan don't necessarily feel comfortable enough to go out with men at, at concerts or anything else for that matter at social events so a way to give them a safety net, but then for them still to enjoy art, was to have a women's only day. 2014 will see Afghanistan's presidential elections, as well as a reduction of international presence within the country. However, the festival's founder is hopeful that Sound Central will continue with Afghans leading the way. Um, I think it can go ahead, but we have to plan a lot more strategically, and we have to really listen to the, to the Afghan community out there to make this happen in the right ways. This is Ruth Owen in Kabul for the NATO Channel.